Hey guys, Kev here, and I got unboxings to do, okay? I got this one and one other one came from White Mountain Knives. This one here is from Skiff Made Blades. You know, your boy picked up some more bearings. So I went all out this time. I placed like two orders of monstrous quantities. And he combined them together. So, see what we got here. We got a bunch of barons. So we got this one here, six millimeter, one sixteenth multi rows. These are basically for me to replace the ones I put in the jet here for my buddy Pete. Shout out to Pete. Uh, he actually messaged me yesterday and said, hey, dude, I actually bought you a set and some other ones, and I'm having them sent to you to replace the ones you used in my knife. And I was like, damn, son, thank you, man. Uh, this is not that. These are ones I bought, but um, that's so cool that he did that. So thanks, Pete. Uh, but anyway, these are the ones I got. <clears throat> and then I got a set of 3 sixteenths. Make that two uh, sets of 3 sixteenths. One sixteenth, and then I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sets of five millimeter one sixteenth. I was out of these, <clears throat> and guys, I just use them so often that it just seems silly to constantly be re... It's almost like every time I use a set, I restock. And it's like, then I order two more sets. And it's like, why don't I just order a bunch, right? And then I'll have a bunch. And then we'll be good to go. So here's my little skip bearing collection right here. So you can see I still have a bunch in here of different kinds as well. Some smaller ones, some normal size ones, some other ones, just, I have a lot of bearings, guys, all right, I'm a bearing guy, what can I say, I love them, especially with the stout coming up, um, it'll be good to have more on hand, I mean, that's not really a good reason, but, um, I don't know, the more I've been using this knife with the skiffs in it, the more I kind of want to, like, just somehow make it a stock offering, or, um, maybe have skiff, just have enough available that when they drop people, I can link it so people can go buy a set as well, you know. Uh, some people don't care, so I don't want to add it to the knife and then have it increase the cost by 13 bucks, which, you know, um, for the people who don't give a shit, you know, it's just not, they don't care. So why force them, you know? That's my thinking. Anyway, then we have this package, which, guys, check it out. White Mountain Knives sent this next day air. Holy shit, that's cool. Um, this has giveaway knives in it I bought. I think maybe some they gave me, I'm not sure. And then a couple of new Civivis I picked up. Unboxing knife, you may have noticed, is the Devo Knives Stout. For all the people who hate when I bring this up during my videos, here it is. This is the stout. This is my knife. I designed this. Colin Mason Pierre is my partner. DevoKnives.com, guys. If you want one, the pre order is on April 9th at 1 p.m. Eastern. Don't you love looking at this knife over and over? I do. I do. To the guy who's going to leave the comment that says, What is this, a stout review? Go watch another channel, bro. You don't have to watch this. But I'm going to use my platform to promote my knife, right? Kind of makes sense. I don't know. Anyway, just saying. You know I love you guys. All right, we got a lot of stuff here, clearly. Holy shit, we got penis for days. We're going to have a penis party. Uh-oh, I already spotted one. Got a Y start. Yuck. I mean, yuh oh I didn't say yuck. Did I? I say yuck. So, baby. That's not a giveaway knife. Well, actually, it might turn into a Kaiser. I don't remember ordering a Kaiser. Okay. Ooh, QSP. I did say, give me some uh, nicer stuff this time. Ooh, a Migaron? What is going on here? 
and another Sabibi. So, uh, looks like we got three giveaway knives. So, I think these are all the ones I bought. I paid like 80 bucks or something to get these for giveaway. So, he obviously gave me a deal. Oh, four, sorry. He obviously gave me a, a better deal than you would get. Um, but that's because I'm planning on giving them away and um, I help his store a lot and you guys help his store a lot. And so here we are. So let's uh, let's go down the line of interest here. I'm going to kind of do it this way. I'm going to start with my least interest. Um, second least interest. And go like that. I don't know. Let's just do this. QSP, by the way, OEM'd the stout. They also do budget stuff. This is the LK5014. And don't forget, we got those Civivis, too. Oh, how funny is this? <clears throat> Pretty sure this is the knife I was giving Casey shit about on his live stream. So he has one with blue. Ah, maybe it's different. I don't know. But they usually nail the detail. <clears throat> okay. Uh, it wasn't great, but... You know, if you actually flick it like a human being, it flies out. So you're good. The cool thing about these knives is you're going to get 14C. Yeah, they always tend to have a late detent, the Y start. See, that's the break right there. I almost felt like it had a ramp, too. Got a little something going on in there. Some schmutz, but it's okay. Um, yeah, they have a late detent. You don't... It's one of the things with their knives. You have to get it real low to pass it like that. Or you got to just, like, push it past and then let it drop. The action's really good. It's dead centered. I mean, you know, you can ask for certain things on a knife and you get them here now you do get uh sort of flat slabs they might be a little contour it feels like plastic maybe even rubber it's a big knife for sure um but yeah and you got a flat grind you got a nice blade here it's pretty sharp with the 14c so uh satin blade Ooh, look at that action breaking in baby but yeah so this is a giveaway knife um there's their little y start pivot reminds me of uh, two sun you got the deep carry clip that's not deep carry and not reversible but so that's cool that's the um <clears throat> why start why start knowing what the model is uh lk 5014 guys cool so that'll be a giveaway knife during uh, a lefty live or whatever cool cool we got a kaiser Let's not even check. Let's not even check what it is. Let's be surprised by the greatness of whatever this is. Oh, is this a mini bag lighter? Mini bag lighter. Azo design, 2.9 inch, yellow G10. Reversible, deep carry. It's actually deep carry. Cool. One thing I don't like about Kaiser, guys, is... Uh, oh, holy bananas. Um, <clears throat> sorry, dead center. One thing I don't like about Kaiser is they tend to do these not nested liner knives, right? So it's proud liners and it's shiny as F. Why does it have to be so shiny? Like, I just don't get that. Like just bead blasted or something. I, I know I complain about bead blast, but I'd prefer it over this. Um, but anyway, this has actually got some of the best action on a little tiny knife like this. Look at that perfect blade for what I like to do. If this has N690, God damn it, N690, uh, kind of fits my hand. You could choke up, be careful, but you got a sheep's foot, good access to the lock bar, uh, great detent. That's one thing Kaiser kills. Some people complain about their stiff detents. I don't think they have stiff detents. I think they have perfect detents, but I guess it depends on your, you know, your use case. Um, and you know, you, some people don't like stiff detents. I do. I like them stiff, baby. Don't mind my thumbs guys. I did something stupid again and put super glue on. And then I tried to get it to cure quickly by putting cold water on it. And it did that, but it also made it freaking like white. Anyway, the action on this is insanity. So this is going to be a cool giveaway. Um, I don't think I need to review this or anything. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll throw it into a rapid or something. I don't know. But it's not that interesting to me. You know what I mean? But it's a good knife for sure. I would be happy carrying this around every day 
little EDC knife. Great for, um, damn, great for a uh, small-handed person, like a woman or a dude with tiny hands. Um, action's incredible. Is there any play? No. I mean, it's a little bit on the stouter side. Like, here is the stout, which I would say is average in terms of thickness. And this is about the same. But for such a tiny knife, it makes it feel way thicker, if that makes sense. Where this feels normal. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel thin. It does not feel thin, but it feels, you know, normal. It doesn't feel thick. Where this just feels kind of thick. I don't know. Anyway, that is the Mini Begleiter. Begleiter. That's German, by the way. Some people will tell you. I can tell you it is German, because I'm German. But I don't know what the fuck it means. So, here we go. We got... Oh, no way! Is Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Is this going to be the Acre? Because that would be cool. Because I just saw it, and somebody was telling me it was cool. And I was like, I need to check one of those out. That would be dope if one showed up. But it could be anything. It is! Yes! That's awesome. That's cool. Okay. So, this yeah is the MGR 801 BK2, okay? So, this is the Acre, which is a budgety knife. So there you go, dead centered. It's a front flipper only. Got a milled titanium clip. Well, milled titanium clip. Brass or bronze pivot collar on this side. Migaron logo over here. You got this rounded sort of thing going on. It's hard to see the knife because of all the black. I know I don't have my normal background. I'm just trying something different. Um, yeah, here you go. You can see that smooth G10. Very nicely done. Um, you got a front flipper with jimping going up. Let's see if I can show you. Jimping goes up and around, guys. That is the way you want your jimping. Here's a close-up look at the G10. What would bees call it? Texture vision. All right, let's give it a shot. Snappy dappy doo. We got 14C, 28N. Liner lock. Access is a little, I don't know. Can I reverse flick this biznatch? From down here, maybe. Let's try it lefty. It's a liner lock. Nah. You can't really get to it. Detent feels good, guys. It's not super strong or anything. I mean, but with the front flipper up here, dialed with the jimping, really flies out of there. Ergos are good. It's a big and big night. I mean, it's not huge. Like, here's the stout. Uh, 7.65 overall on the Devo stout. There you go. It's bigger. So it is a big one, actually. Was it? It's more than three and a half. Might be three and three quarters, maybe. I don't know. Don't care. And we can... Ooh, action for days. I do wish there was some kind of a cutout here. Like, again, I think we might be adding it on the stout. Like, we might be cutting this back just a little bit so you can get in there. It's not hard to get in, though, because of the width of the handle. Right? Um, on this, you kind of have the same thing, and you have a chamfer there, but... I still kind of wish it was there. Like, it's not necessary. Access is fine once you know what you're doing. Uh, but I'd still like it to be there. And that's kind of how I'm starting to feel about this. And I think other people would prefer to have that a little bit more room. So I think we're going to add that. I've already talked to QSP about it. So anyway, sorry. You have a crowned spine? No, it looks crown. It is crowned. Damn, it's hard to tell, but it feels crowned it just does it does have 90 degree edges on the side at least on this side it does weird but it feels crowned so i think it is yeah i can already tell that this is tearing my nail the corner of my nail up going in there and trying to get it so definitely would like better access but overall guys yeah for a budget knife i don't know what these cost um but again it can't be that expensive considering what I paid, so it says QC passed, and I think it did, 
I like what Megaron's doing. I don't quite love all their models, but I am kind of liking what they're doing. So I'm following them, and um, yeah. There's this thing that says something about... God damn it. Just flung that across the room like an idiot. Ha! Back up. Um, this is just some card that I can't squeeze back in there. I don't even know how it was in there to begin with. Was there another box? What am I missing? No idea. I can't even get this thing back in. I'll deal with it later. One more, guys. QSP. Shout out to QSP. Ooh, Osprey. Is this the one I was just shitting on? No, this is a different one. Cool. This is actually a newer knife. Thanks, White Mountain. Look at that sticker, dude. Dude, QSP is killing it right now. No joke. Like, look at that. The Penguin Have a Knife Day. <laughs> They're starting to really um, hit their stride, guys. I got to tell you. I got to tell you. We got G10. We got a very, um, how do I put this? We have a very Sabibi-esque looking build here, right? But we have some differences. One, this micarta, this is micarta, by the way. Pretty sure. Whatever it is, it feels soft to the touch. I think this is actually G10, but it, what is this shit? Brown micarta, that's okay. So when I saw it, thought, saw it, that's what I saw it. Um, it just, it has a little softness to it, a little bit of grip, but yet um, it's not like rough. This is what they're good at. Um, the micarta we have on our stout is black, but it's the same kind of stuff. I really like it. You have this G10 backspacer that looks, I gotta say, it does look a little unfinished. Let me uh, zoom in on it. It looks a little bit unfinished, but I think it might just be me hating G10. But you see that? The edge there and everything. Just, that'll all wear down as you go. Oh, look at that. A wire clip. Hmm. Wonder where they got that idea. <laughs> same clip. Now, this is going to have the same spacing, same screws. On this one, they didn't opt to put a screw on this side, which I honestly... Hmm. Oh, yeah, this keeps the scale down, though. So you can't do that. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I don't like how it sticks up a little bit, but we're going to be changing the spacing so it sits down a little further. And, um, yeah, I just don't like how it sticks up a little bit, even though that this one looks better than this one. Looks like it sits lower, so I don't know. Um Oh, yeah, they nailed the detent, guys. Nailed it. That's one thing I love about QSP. I trust them. You know what I mean? That was one of the reasons we went with them. Sorry, I'll stop talking about the stout. I know you guys hate it. Some of you. Dead centered. Perfect detent, honestly. Tiniest bit of play, but not much. You get a liner lock. Good lock up. A little bit of jimping here to get in there. Um, it's a little stiff right through here, like from disengaging. Here's your break right here and then yeah it's very stiff and then here it's a little better hmm. is this on washers no looks like bearings i think it might just need to either break in or needs a cleaning of some sort like it might just need lubrication to be honest um this is their machine satin it's just fully machine um we did not on this one. One of the ones we did was fully machine. Not a fan of that. I'd rather have a stone wash if I'm going to get this. Hang on a second. Okay, sorry. So, yeah, I'd rather have a stone wash than this, but some people like this type of finish. I'm just not the biggest fan. And they're not the only ones who do this type of finish. Like, <clears throat> here's Kun Wu when they do it. It's just not the same as a Riot. Like I just love a Riot belt satin. It just has those grind lines. It's very distinct, you know what I mean? Now it does end up having fingerprints a lot more on it than this, but I take that trade off. I think it's just taken to a, a a higher or lower grit and that's why it's a little different. Full flat grind, not full flat, a uh, flat grind. I guess up here it is, but um, it's sort of a straight back, right? I guess you could call it a drop point. I don't know. I'll be honest, guys. Uh, this feels great in hand. You can kind of choke up. I would take this knife over the Elementum every day of the week. Um, just 
snappier, a little bit larger in size, will fit your hand a little better, fit my hand a little better. Wire deep carry reversible clip, a little bit of a choil action going on. Do I love the drop point straight back? No, but you know, I could definitely deal with it. Um, looks wise, I think it's a good looking knife. It's you know, nothing wrong with it. I love the flipper tab, done very well. That jimping is really good, and that detent, guys, that's one thing. They killed on this, the detent. And this thing will break in. Um, I probably could take it apart and just tune it. Probably just needs a little bit of love. Um, but definitely a solid offering. I'm, I'm glad he sent me one of these to check out um, and give away, I suppose. Yeah, I bought them all. So um, I'll probably review this one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I might review this one and then give it away. I don't know. So that's the QSP uh, Osprey. That's a new model for them, I believe, this year. The one I reviewed that I did not like recently was the Mamba. Just did not understand that one. Uh, then we have the two new Sabibis. So these are actually the same knife. And I bought these. And when I said I paid like 88 bucks or whatever... That was for all the knives you just saw, not for these. These I bought, um, it was a different order, and then he come, he put them together in the package. So just want to make that clear. Here's the thing I don't get. Why do they still ship the cool pouch with Civivis, but with Wii, you don't get a pouch anymore? That's so dumb because the pouch is important. Like, I like the pouch. As a knife guy, having a pouch is really cool. You know what I mean? Um, so this is the new Conspirator, and I got the wood one, and I did it this time, I went ahead and I just got two. One, because I wanted to try their wood, and I really thought Black Micarta from, uh, Sabibi I've never had, so I wanted to try that, but two, because it just seems like these days, I just always get a lemon, why not get two? And just, like, hope one of them's good or I can piece one together. This is a much more substantial than I thought it was going to be. That's for sure. Um, I am not a fan of this. This is actually cut in on purpose. This weird finger thing. I don't know. There's no lock bar, so I don't really know why they did that. That just makes it look dumb, in my opinion. Um, they're rocking really hard micarta, and that's the difference between that and what I was saying about this QSP is this is soft. It's got a nice softness to it, and then it feels hard. You know what I mean? There's that layer on top that feels good. This feels like plastic almost. It's not the micarta that you come to know and love, you know? Um, and then they went with Proud liners. Not a fan of that. I would have went nested all day on this design. Um, looks like that one's dead centered. This one, dead centered. Now, the wood feels good. I think it's called Chabuka or Kabuka wood or something like that. Um, but I got to say, I do like this micarta better for sure. So, let me get that out of the way. Sorry. So, let's check it out. You got a reversible... Uh, deep carry fold over clip. Of course, you got a bead blood. No, I think they actually did a stone wash. Wow. Okay. We're getting places. Savivi uh, doing the dark logo now. Looks great. Um, it's a little bit, I don't know, chunkier than I thought it was going to be. Um, hmm. Okay. So. Detent wise, you got the kind of double clutchage going on here. You get that on button locks, but usually it's not that bad. <laughs> like here on the Malibu, you get the slightest bit of take up. I don't even, you can't even see it taking up. And then it fires out. And you see when I break that detent, what happens? Fires out every time, reliably. This weak sauce now uh, i had jared neeb on the live stream last night and he did tell me that he thought it felt like that at first too and then the more he used it it felt like it broke in or something so we'll see now obviously if i 
do that, it flicks out. But I want it to break and flick, you know? Um, but it does feel smooth. It's very smooth in here. The bearings feel really good. Um, yeah, no no movement, no pivot lash. That feels really good. Look at that drop. Even without pressing the button, it's basically dropped shut. And then if I were to depress the button, watch out, right? Um, no play, no rock. Man, maybe the slightest side to side. Um, there's your plunge lock. Very nice. Button. So companies are listening. You need to inset that button for two reasons. It just makes it so you can't accidentally depress the button while you're like doing stuff. Unless you actually shove something in there to press it, you're not going to press it because you're just around it. And that gives you that leverage, sorry, space, because it's even with that cutout that like you have to be pushing down in the center for it to, to actually disengage like that, right? Um, and then left-handed, the reverse flick. Where does my finger go when I reverse flick a knife? Right here. <laughs> and when you're right-handed, you don't care because there's nothing there. But left-handed, with a button lock, trying to reverse flick it, this happens to me on Kaisers all the time that are button locks now. The Beg Lighter XL, the Cormorant, I start pressing that button when I flick it so the detent basically flops out while I flick it. But... With a button like this, boom, no issue with that. Um, you just hit it and you're fine. Even on, and on this one, honestly, my uh, finger is kind of landing right underneath it, so it's fine. Um, I don't love the button. I feel like the way they did this, it feels a little bit like I have to really find it and press, but like on a Protec, you just, it's so intuitive. You're there, boom. You're there on the button. Like on this and just, I don't know. Maybe I just need to get used to this. I'm used to a ProTech, right? Ergos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That feels great. And then you could choke up. You're right up on the edge, but you can choke up. Uh, the steel on this is Nitro V. You should see that right there. Um, yeah, this, this is the best feeling one I've handled out of the three, but I think it's three now, button locks they've had. Um, the Altus was awesome. It was just a little too small for my taste, right? Um, and the Cogent, the design of that handle just killed it for me. I just couldn't get, even though it was a larger knife than the Malibu, it did not feel nearly as comfortable in hand as the Malibu did. Um, this feels great. I'm starting to kind of like this my card a little bit. It still feels plasticky. I still wish the net, the liners were nested, but you know that's how they're gonna do this for seventy bucks or whatever it is. So then we have the wood, which looks absolutely gorgeous in terms of weight. If you're curious, I think it might add a smidgen of weight, but honestly, I can't even tell the difference. Uh, the knife in general feels a little bit hefty for what it is. Uh, like the Malibu feels lighter. And it's aluminum. Because you got a lot of steel in here, right? Um, yeah, this... Well, this feels like it's got a lot of weight to it, too. But it is milled out in there, I think. Nope. Um, sorry. All right, let's flick this one. See how they did. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. So that's just how they did it. So this one has button stick. Not a lot, but it's there. This one barely has any. Good reverse flick, though, guys. I gotta say, they dialed the detent for the reverse flick. So that's really all I care about because I'm going to reverse flick it. Honestly, I'd be tempted to make this like a choil here and do a flipper delete and a whole choil. Um, you'd have to cut a lot of stuff away, and I do kind of like having a flipper occasionally. Um, I have a cut right here, so it's a little bit painful pushing that button, so don't mind me. It does look like the button does stick a little bit proud of that scale, the cutout, um, which I think is okay on open. But when it's closed, I want it to be more flush. Uh, no, I think it sticks out the same either way, honestly, doesn't it? 
Eh. Yeah, it's the same. Um, but you have enough room. It feels like on the wood, you have less of that room on the... I don't know. Yeah. The button sticks out further on this one. Look at that. So look. Look at how far. Let's see if I can do this. Zoom in. How do I do it? I don't know how to show you. Shit. You can see it, right? Can't you see that? You see how the button sticks out further? I mean, look at how much that one sticks out. And then look at this one. Yeah, it's a good bit further. So this one, it feels better in terms of not accidentally depressing it, right? But a little bit less intuitive to just reach and hit like this one, if that makes sense. This one I can kind of just flick, bang, flick, bang. I know right where it is every time. This one. Eh, I think I just got used to it. See, I get why they did the cut thing here, maybe, on the wood one. But on um, this one, I just don't like that at all. So, I don't know. Cool knife. I think this is the best one they've done yet in terms of the button lock. I still don't think they're there yet with the detents. Um, even with the good reverse flick here, they could have dialed it up. I mean... There's no reason that it didn't, it couldn't have been a little stronger. And then this would have been way better. But um, I think Jared's right. It's already starting to be a little bit easier, even when I'm just breaking it. If you saw the beginning of the video, I could barely, I could fail it real easy. And now it's like hard to kind of fail. See, this one's still breaking in a little bit. So as these break in, I think they're just going to get better. Um, I like both, honestly. Um, do I prefer one? Yeah, I think I prefer the micarta. I think it just uh, feels a little better in hand. I like the the more low pro profile button as a lefty. I think that makes the most sense. Um, it's a little less intuitive to click right here, but other than that, I think I like that one better, but we'll see. Um, I'll probably just have both around for a little while. I'm probably going to give one away. Um you know, it was kind of why I bought two. Man, that edge. Holy shit. This, is, this thing has a mirror edge from factory? Basically, holy balls. Okay, hold on. I love Nitro V, by the way, guys. Oh, man. Q ah, QSB. Civivi. Look at that. Just bought her, man. Let's try. Um, uh, this has a aftermarket edge, so let's try the QSP that just came out of factory or came out of the box. It feels good too. This is what? What steel is this? 14C. Oh yeah. See, QSP kills it too, guys. QSP kills it. The stout here. Uh, this has been used a lot. Still solid edge on that 20 CV. So. I mean, these factories over there, guys, they're absolutely killing it. Um, yeah, they're killing it. So that's a bunch of knives, guys. Sorry for the long video, but um, I wanted to get through them all. They were all in the box there. So um, let me put these away. Let me know what you guys think. Um, obviously, you're probably happy with me doing giveaways. So um, that's cool. We got that one. We got the Y Start, the Megaron, and the Kaiser as well. And then possibly uh, one of these two as well. Uh, definitely digging on this Black Micarta. Not my favorite Black Micarta, but it looks good. And then they do actually have a heavily stonewashed blade, guys. Um, this is a first for me, honestly, to see this. Look at that. Heavy, almost like an acid wash, honestly. I love it. So much better than their normal bullshit, which is this. I feel like they're listening to us, guys. Look at that. That's that bead blast. And this just looks so much better. It's similar, yet much, much better, in my opinion. 
This will, I almost tried to disengage it. This will uh, hide wear very well and help resist rust where this will actually make rust show up quicker. So much rather have that stone wash. Um, so I'm happy with the conspirator. I think this is a cool knife. Is that what it's called? The conspirator? I think I'm happy with these. This is their best button lock by far so far. I'm a little concerned about the, um, what's that one that they have coming? The malice button lock, just cause it's like a mini. And then I don't know. I'm just worried they're going to mess the D10 up on that. I'm going to be pissed because I really like that design, you know? Um, it's probably not going to have a lefty clip anyway. That's one thing I love about these is, you know, you get a lefty clip with it. And for 70 bucks or whatever these are, um, I think you're getting a good value there with the Nitro V. You get a little bit of a ting, you know? Um, you get a great edge, great blade. I mean, look at that nice tall blade with that flat grind, like... Just comes down to a razor thin edge. You got jimping where you need it. You actually have jimping where you need it. You can choke up if you want. Still can use that jimping a little bit if you want. Uh, drop point blade, not my favorite, but it's definitely going to be a low enough tip on this one that I can get right into packaging and stuff like that. Uh, really well thought out. I think this is a good one. I'm impressed. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And I love you guys so much. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.